Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. This is LaShawn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be beautiful if you make it beautiful. Start your day off with a positive attitude and everything else will fall into place. I'm happy today. I'm always happy on meal planning days. You know why? Because I get to map out how I'm going to spend my budget on food for the week. And it's very important because uh, I want to eat. Okay. So in case you haven't joined me before and this is your first time, I always start my video off by telling you a little bit about myself. My name is LaShawn. I'm the mother of three adult children, 22, 24, and 30. I don't have no babies, okay? Or grandbabies, by the way. I am uh, a United States Navy veteran, and I am also a surgical tech. But now I'm here on YouTube. This is where I spend my time, and I try to uplift, to encourage, to empower, you know, to inspire you each and every day. At least one person. That's my goal. But this channel was designed for me to use for therapeutic purposes in order for me to lift myself up and get better because I was suffering from depression. So now I'm happy. I have found my perfect peace in my little apartment here in Jacksonville, Florida. And so I try to share ways to be frugal, to be a minimalist, and to live at the low end of your budget and to not waste. And in order to continue that, we do meal planning around here. And you only need two things for meal planning. You need a marker or a pen. I like colorful markers. <laughs> and the cell paper, where you going? And this is a very thin one. And as you can see, we're doing all these this week. So all I do is I go through the cell paper and I circle the things that I need. Now, keep in mind, before I even pick up this newspaper, I have already been in my refrigerator to see what I have. I've already been in the pantry to see what I already have. And I've already been in the cabinets to see what I already have because I never double up. I never waste money. So I only get what I need. If I know that I got it's a five pound bag of sugar and I got two and a half pounds, I'm not going to buy any more sugar. I, I will get it when I need it because that's two, three, four dollars that can go towards meat for the week or toward our budget for the week. And we're on a very, very, very tight budget because food prices are going up. My money not going up, but the food prices are going up. So you have to think about every purchase because some people that decides whether they eat or not or that decides if they're going to have meat. Okay. Are you ready to start? Okay, so when you open up, I see they got the strawberries. I'm going to, they got strawberries, they got blueberries, and I told you before, I don't get blueberries because they are so sharp, like sharp cheddar. When I get them, I only can eat a couple, and I always waste at, well, in the old days. So I don't buy them. I, I try to taste one every now and then. I'm in the store. But usually wait for somebody to come in that section because I ain't trying to go to jail for a blueberry. Okay. Shh. I think I should not get the strawberries. I'm thinking I might get the strawberries. Unless I see grapes. I don't see grapes. I hate to go above. But yeah, I don't see grapes. So we're going to. No. We're going to wait. Okay, so they have green peppers, so we're going to circle the green peppers. I'm not sure if that's a sale or not, but we're going to circle the green peppers. We're going to circle the red peppers. So we're going to have green peppers, and we're going to have red peppers. If I see yellow, I'm going to get yellow too, because it, it, it adds to it, not only flavor-wise, but for presentation purposes, when you're doing a stir fry with the onions and the bell peppers and the garlic. Now we're gonna get um, one tomato because I don't, the baby ones are way too expensive. The little cherry ones that are absolutely delicious. Those are the ones I prefer to get, but if they're not on sale, I get one tomato. 
cut it in half, use the tomato for what I have, and hope that the other half will make it because I don't eat tomatoes that often. Now, let's see what else we got. We got avocados, and I've never, ever bought an avocado, ever. Never bought one. I've had avocado, but I've never actually purchased one myself. I don't like it enough where it wouldn't go to waste here. So, and I'm by myself. So, if you live by yourself and it's something like, I don't know, I'll say avocados. And you know you don't, it's okay, but it's nothing you would, you know, write home to mama about. I don't buy it because it's only going to go to waste in my house. So, it's up to you. Let's see what this is. They got black Angus beef. They got a family pack of chicken turn tenderloins. Okay. So we're going to get one pack. No, we're not. I got a whole chicken in the freezer. And, uh, well, yeah. I got a whole chicken in the freezer. So let's stop the press right quick. That whole chicken in the oven could make my own ch chicken tenderloins okay with the, the breast part of the chicken. I just can't see myself spending that when I know I got that whole chicken in there. Now the whole chicken is two days because you eat off it the first day, the second day, um, you can make a chicken salad. You can make wraps all off that white meat. I like the white meat. I don't eat the dark meat when I have to. Okay, so they got the shredded cheese, and we're gonna have to get a bag of shredded cheese. Uh, it's two sixty nine at Aldi, which is uh, a good price. Oh wait, I will take that back. It's a dollar ninety nine. It was two sixty nine. It's a dollar ninety nine, which is even better. So we'll circle that. And I like to get mild cheddar. Uh, sometimes you can find the Kobe and uh, cheddar and mixed. And chunks and if I can find it mixed like that I'll get it for the macaroni so that is one of the meals this week it's gonna be macaroni I'm gonna make one box of macaroni but it lasts for more than one meal and you can put the macaroni in the fridge for a couple days so we're also gonna get the tortilla bread because I make wraps and stuff I made the mistake of buying that you can get eight big ones like this which it just was too much because my thing is, I don't eat a big, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking in my head, I was going to make the bowls. I was going to make taco salad bowls. So they come out better with the big bread. But as far as eating them in a taco or a wrap, it's just too much. So I'm going to get this pack right here of the small, uh, we're going to get the small toast here. You know what I mean. We're gonna get that and we're also gonna get this hunts spaghetti sauce I already got some spaghetti and also what is this is this broccoli if we can find some broccoli okay 89 cent broccoli floret steamable how many ounces in there say 12 ounce. that's good enough so we're gonna get this pack of broccoli. Now I have vegetables in the cabinet. I've got canned corn, I got green beans, and I got mixed vegetables. Mixed vegetables and carrots are my least favorite, but I will eat mixed ve vegetables and, and pick out the corn, then the green beans, eh, the peas, I mean, uh, if I have to. Um, but broccoli is always a good alternative. I like broccoli and rice. You know, I like chicken and rice and maybe some broccoli on the side. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Also, I was looking for the Conquesta. I think that's what they call it. Con Conquesta. The Conquesta. But most of the time they don't have it on there, so I might have to write it across the top. And there we go. There goes the grapes. So we're going to circle the grapes because usually I try to get one fruit. And it's because it's so expensive, I would like to eat fruit every day, but that's not possible. So what you do is, if you can't afford to get fresh fruit, you can get the cans if you have to. Right now, I got a can of mixed uh, fruit in the fridge. The last time I opened it, it was really, really sweet. So I guess I would have to pull off some of that juice this time 
but that's the only way I can eat some type of fruit every day. Now, I got plenty of canned goods. Canned goods are, is the cheap, still the cheapest thing to get. So if you have to get your vegetables or your um, fruit in a can, you got to do what you got to do. If you got to get them frozen, it's just so many different alternatives. But if you can find, you know, like the grapes are not on sale, but they halfway decent this week, I'll just go ahead and get the grapes. But I also have a can of mixed fruit. So I'm good for that. So that's good. So we have that. And then we're going to get a bag of salad. Circle bag of salad. Now let me explain. Most of the time I get a cucumber, some carrots, and that, and I do it like that. But if those items are expensive, like the tomatoes are not on sale, the cucumbers not on sale, then it's best for me just to get a bag of salad and just eat that for uh, vegetable purposes if I choose to have salad every day. But remember, I'm going to make that chicken this week. So after I make the chicken on the first day, on the second day, you cut up some of that chicken right in that pre-prepared uh, pre salad. You can toss that out, put a little vinaigrette on there, and you got yourself a whole nother meal because that chicken will still be juicy if you cook it right. If you cook a whole chicken real slow, you got all day, you got a job, you got something to do. If not, put that joke on slow cook. Cook it nice and slow. And then right when it get halfway done, that's when you base it up and put your mint mixture. I melt butter. I put a little bit of brown sugar and I stir it all up and I paste it all over the skin of my whole chicken. It makes it crispy and it puts the juice right back in it. The same juices, I'm putting it on top of it. And then as I eat it, it's nice and juicy. It ain't dried out. I do not like dried out chicken. And most people that bake their chicken dry it out because they cook it so fast. But if you cook it nice and slow, then you can eat off it a couple days because you're going to have that second day chicken salad. It's absolutely delicious. And then you, or you can have the wrap. It's nothing better than a wrap. Well, I still haven't got my spinach bread. It seems like the only place to really get good spinach bread is Publix. And I haven't been going to Publix lately because I just can't afford it. Love you, Publix. Well, shopping is a pleasure. Love the place. It's just that right now, woo, I'm not willing to pay the extra for the customer service. Okay? I'm at all these because it's so much cheaper. So anyway, that's just my little tip for uh, making the whole chicken and having it last. you That wrap, chicken wrap with nice juicy chicken. You get that wrap bread with lettuce. And um, I'm telling you, it's absolutely delicious. Then put whatever you want on there, mayonnaise, whatever. Anyway, uh, some shredded cheese and that type of thing. And I'm getting a bag of shredded cheese. So everything that I need is circled except the conquesta which I'm going to write down. Con, I don't even know how to spell it. Con, conquesta cheese dip. You use it for nachos and stuff like that, and it's only like $1.89 at Aldi's. I don't know why I always just get one. I really should get two because you can make nachos with it. You can um, uh, use it to pour over the top, like when you make the taco or the taco salad bowl. It's so many different ways. And once you open it, you have to put it in the fridge. So that's my only problem is waste. That's why I only get one. Okay, so that's everything. That's all the food that I need this week. And did you notice I didn't have any meat on the list? It's because you have to recycle. If you are really on a budget, if you can afford to get another pack of ground beef, another pack of chicken and all that, you go right ahead. But if you can't, you have to recycle what you got. And for me, the whole chicken is the solution for me. Okay? So that's it. That's all I got today. I want you to be happy and joyful today. And at this stage of the video, we try to breathe in and breathe out. In with the good, out with the bad. I like it. It makes me feel better, but you don't have to do this, okay? Are you ready? Let's breathe in, breathe out. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. Hard to hold my breath lately. Okay, so that's everything. So whatever you got to do today, wherever you got to go, 
to the bank, you know, to if you got to go work out, go to school, go to work, wherever you got to go today. Be happy, be joyful, and don't let anybody steal your peace. But most of all, treat people with respect. It's the only way to live. It's the only way to live. Okay, so have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.